Hello, my name is Katalin Ionescu and I will highlight the pros and cons of different string matching algorithms. String matching is a wide problem used in all sorts of applications. A frequent use of it is the Ctrl F feature which parses the text in the window searching for the string the user inputs. Another eloquent example of the use of string matching is the grep tool in Unix. It is undoubtedly a highly regarded problem which requires a solution with a very low response time. The methods we will be comparing are the Naive method, the knuth morris Pratt, and the boyer moore horsepool algorithms. All of them are using two strings as input, the pattern and the text. The, texts, the size of the pattern is generally much smaller than the size of the text. The aim is to find all occurrences of some pattern in a larger string. The naive method is perhaps the one which comes first to mind when thinking about this problem. The idea behind it is to match the pattern against the text character by character. Should a mismatch occur, shift the whole pattern by one to the right and start again. In the knuth morris pratt algorithm, we will be using an observation. We recall that when a mismatch occurs in the naive method, say at position j in the pattern, we have still found j-1 characters that do match. Starting with this observation, we will be shifting the pattern either by one or by a distance provided by a pre-computed prefix table. The boyer moore horsepool is the algorithm we will be examining at large now. It builds on the weaknesses of the knuth morris pratt and Naive methods and provides a solution which is more applicable to the general situation. The knuth morris pratt resides most on the idea of repetition through the pattern, but in the natural language this is less likely to happen. The boyer moore horsepool algorithm uses the alphabet that makes up the pattern to skip large distances. The comparisons are performed starting from the right, hence finding the rightmost match. The table we build will tell us the rightmost occurrence of each letter in the pattern. Now let's go through an example where this algorithm highlights its pros. We will initialize the table, namely pi, with all positions having the length of the pattern. This is because when a character is encountered that does not occur in the pattern, we can safely shift by its length. Then we will update the positions for D and C, which are the symbols in the pattern, with 1 and 2. We start by comparing C with B, which is a mismatch, so we shift the pattern by pi of B, which is 2. We now check C and C, which is a match, move to D and D, and also find the match. Therefore, we output 3 and shift the pattern by 2. Now we check A and C, which is a mismatch, so we shift by 2. We check D and C, which is also a mismatch, but we shift by 1 because pi of d is 1. We finally check a and c and find a mismatch, so we end our quest. Therefore, it took us 5 attempts when we shifted the pattern and 6 character comparisons to determine that the only match for our pattern in the text is at position 3. It would have required the naive method to make 9 attempts and 11 comparisons and the knuth morris pratt 8 attempts and 10 comparisons. Now let's analyze the code. We declare pi to have the number of sigma elements, namely max. 
the pre-processing part is simply recording in each pi of i the rightmost occurrence of character i in the pattern. If a character is not present in the pattern, we will allocate the default value, which is max. We start to go through the text with j equals 0. We will run while j is smaller than the size of the text minus the size of the pattern. C is our current character. If the current character is a match to the rightmost character in the pattern and the whole pattern is a match with the corresponding substring of the text, then we print the current position. Afterwards, we just shift the pattern by pi of c. The worst case running time is no better than the naive method, big O of n times m. But in practice, the best case will be big O of n over m. The preprocessing takes O of modulo of sigma plus m compared to the knuth morris prat which takes theta of m. Thank you for following this lesson.